Hey, my name is TJ, uh, and this is my Black Edition F550. started looking into these trucks a few years ago. Basically, we we're looking into getting a new truck for what I use it for is for towing all stuff like this. I own an equipment rental store down here in Durango, Colorado. Haul stuff all the time. We don't have a huge need for hauling stuff where we need CDL level type stuff where we're hauling 26,000 pounds worth of stuff all the time, but there is a need for it. In the past, we've had semis and trailers and stuff like that, but for the most part, they sit quite a bit and they cost a ton of money just to have sitting around. So we started looking for other things and then one day playing around on Instagram, went over and found EOG looking on there and started kind of looking into it and what the capabilities of the truck were and started looking at it and figured out we could do something like this. We started kind of digging in it, figured out it was something that instead of having to buy another one ton truck that we could tow you know, 15, 20,000 pounds width on a normal basis, and then a semi that we could tow more. I could get a 550 built out like this, and I could use it as my daily driver like I do right now, and load it up with 30,000 pounds of equipment like I have on it right now. So when I built it out, I decided to go with the pickup style setup like this. I wanted to have a bed on it so that I could throw stuff in the back and tow it and all that kind of stuff. I did put a tonneau cover on it because um, I wanted to be able to close it and lock stuff in there, keep it waterproof, all that kind of stuff. I also have a bed rack with a tent on it that I put on there so that I could take it and go camping and all that kind of fun stuff with it too. Obviously, we put a gooseneck hitch in there so that I could pull up my gooseneck trailer on there. Um, EOG obviously builds their own really cool setup for the gooseneck on there that has a little more beefy setup, a little more capability to it. So we have a more capable truck than you're going to have your normal 550 setup. All right, so with the uh, the add-ons that we added on here, I picked the intake on with the Banks intake. We did the vision system, which is pretty cool being able to scroll through and look out between the front when you're out off-road and everything, see what's out in front of the truck. It's a big truck, so being able to see over the front what's out in front of you really cool, as well as being able to see with these upgraded cameras on here, seeing what's out the side of the truck when you're pulling, seeing the trailer, seeing what's going on is really nice. It's a, it's a really cool addition to be able to see what's on the side of the truck. And then I did the upgraded performance package on there too with the tune in the truck. You know, we're already in, in Durango. We're down here, we're at 7,000 feet, um, but we're doing lots of places, pulling into places like Silverton, um, up into the mountains everywhere. We're, we're climbing hills all day long, pulling things like 30,000 pounds up into there. You want a little, little extra power out of the truck. Being able to have that extra power and reliability with it makes a big difference. Being able to have that extra extra kick in the truck and knowing that it's reliable and it's built out really well, there's no question that the truck's gonna be able to take the power and do what we need to do with it. But when we start really looking into it, seeing what EOG does and the build outs with it, I couldn't tell you how many hours I spent on YouTube digging through videos, watching everything, seeing all the build outs, how they do it watching every little bit of the truck they went through, everything they got into it. If anybody's ever been in a stock 550, it's like riding around in a brick. It's meant what it's there for. It's terrible when it's empty. Um, this thing rides like an F-150 when it's empty. It's super comfortable. It's my daily driver. It's great. Um, I can lower it down and park in my garage. You watch the videos and it's hard to believe that this thing turns tighter than an F-350 um, until you really do put it next to an F-350 and it turns way, way tighter. It's amazing what it gets into. Um, you'd think with the really offset wider front end that this thing is going to be hard to drive. It's simple. It's really comfortable. It's easy to drive. But then you take that suspension and you load all this weight up on it and it just takes it and handles it great. I load this thing up three, four days a week. I've had this truck, I want to say I picked it up right at the beginning of May this year in 2024. Um, I've got about 8,500 miles on it right now and about 6,500 of it are with this trailer on it loaded all the time. This thing has just been getting used as a work truck constantly. It's just getting its, it's getting its work into it, that's for sure.
Plymouth were dropping off up here at Silverton. So nice thing with the truck now, instead of making multiple trips back and forth, that would take us six hours plus. The truck and the setup we have now, we can do it in a single trip and it cuts our time down and time is money. So it makes it all worth it. EOG likes to talk about the, the capability of these trucks and it's one of my favorite things about it. We can talk about your daily drivers. We just took a 30,000 pound setup up a three to, what, three to 4% grade up 45 miles into Silverton from Durango, unhooked the trailer and now we're up in Animus Forks up some cool off-road stuff. Didn't change the truck out, it's the same thing. We didn't even drop any air pressure out of the tires and we're just in two wheel drive, cruising around, playing around. I mean, you're not taking any other truck and doing that. It's why we got it, man. It's a good truck, it's fun. It's the only truck in the world you're gonna do that with.